hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and today i'm gonna be trying to recreate this picture like honestly y'all i'm not gonna lie when my client showed me that picture i was thinking like what the like how am i gonna do this but i was like you know what i like a little challenge and even though her nails were shorter i did let her know like okay they're not gonna look exactly like this but they're gonna look very similar and so the first thing that i'm doing is just going in with a glittery pink acrylic that i have which is glow in the dark because the picture that she showed me um does glow in the dark and then i went in with a pink acrylic and i kind of did like a slight marble i mixed in a little bit of white but mainly just leaving a lot of the pink showing and then i went in with some glitter around the pink and then of course encapsulating it with the clear acrylic making sure that everything is encapsulated really well that way whenever i come in with the e-file i don't file anything away Alrighty, so after I finish doing the acrylic, I go in and just reshape the nail. So of course, filing both sides at a 90 degree angle, making sure that I file on both sides the same amount of times. That way the nail is the perfect, um, not necessarily an almond, but kind of like a stiletto. Um, and then after that, I'm going in with my extra fine tapered drill bit. And of course, just going around the cuticle area, going from the right side all the way over to the the left side just going back and forth until the nail is nice and smooth and then also I wanted to mention I know a lot of people always ask like okay so I'm following around the cuticle area but when do I know if I followed them up and for me I just pay attention to how it looks and so I want to make sure that I'm able to see where the cuticle area is where the natural nail is and where the acrylic is that way I know the acrylic is not on the skin and then of course I'll do a video just focusing on the filing part so I can show you guys like a really up close and personal view but after we finish filing the nail I'm going in with my buffer and just making sure that the nail is nice and smooth and after that I dust them off and then wiping them off with an alcohol wipe to get any of the remaining dust off the nail and after that i'm gonna go in with this drill bit um i will leave the link below i, I don't really know what it's called but it's a uh, um dang what is this called the material i forgot what it's called y'all but i'll leave the link below and so basically what you want to do is just almost just drill a hole in the nail but of course you want to make sure that you're careful because it, after leaving it on there for too long it could cause friction and it'll cause your client's nail to burn and so after i drilled the little uh indention in the nail of course you don't want to go in too deep just enough to where i could put my little beads in and then i'm going in with a gold gel polish cure that for 30 seconds and then i'm going in with my hard gel and I'm going to apply some bigger stones in the center of the nail where the indention is. And then after that, I'm going to go in with my caviar. Now, um, these definitely would have been cute or not cuter, but I didn't have any of the pixie crystals. I only had these caviars, but um, I think the original picture had like the pixie crystals, which are more like 3D. These are more like circles. And then I ended up adding the gold because I feel like that gold gel polish, it just wasn't given what I wanted. And so I cut up some little gold foil pieces and I'm just basically outlining um, or just putting it over where the gold gel polish was. And then after that, that's pretty much it. I just go in and do my gel top coat over all of the nails, of course, going around where I have the bling and the pix or not the pix but the caviar and here is the final look so like i said they still were very pretty but if they would have been longer they would have been a lot cuter and then also i feel like this video did no justice because they looked a lot better in person where you could actually see the 3d look <laughs> 